Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Wayne DeGroot from DQT, DDD.ca. Today's lesson is an advanced lesson on how to customize a cabinet countertop. Okay, what I have here is a uh, kitchen that was done inside of SoftPlan. Um, there is the countertop right here that I actually customized. What the client wanted was to have a high 42 inch uh, countertop so they can put the bar stools underneath. Um, on the side here I have a wall, a typical wall, and a typical wall here. I'll show you how I got that. And another typical wall. All the rest of the cabinets that I have in the background here are uh, regular cabinets, as you can see. And uh, that's it. So I'll just get into the plan view. Okay, here's the kitchen that you just uh, seen. I have several lines in here, of course. My main goal was 3D. It wasn't really necessarily the uh, the plan. Um, I do this a lot when I want to save a lot of time. Why generate a whole house when I just need two walls? So, there we go. Alright, I'm just going to move this countertop out of the way. Or not out of the way, but so you can see it. So I actually had the idea of having uh, the countertop here uh, wrapping around and being rounded. What you see here is the um, is the bulkhead, so let's ignore that. And uh, let's get started. What I like doing is using the uh, solid and polygon. I'm using solid one. It always is ideal to to keep an eye on what um, solid is which. Mm. In this particular plan, I actually use using solid one as the countertop. So I'm gonna just sketch in a base of the countertop. Um, click on lock, and it should snap at 45 degrees. I'm just going to hazard a guess and say, ooh, let's do a large one there. And I'm not too particular where I actually put the um, the points as yet because everything actually is ch uh, changeable using uh, um, adjust. Whenever you're using polyline, of course, just like any other polylines that you have inside a soft plan, you have to continue and make it a full, uh, inc fully enclosed area. Once it's fully enclosed, it then becomes uh, an actual entity. And the next thing I want to do is put on the arch onto my countertop. So I'm clicking on Edit. Clicking on the one side. Do not click in the middle, because it will not work. And the deflection is the number that we're going to change. So I'll just click on the deflection here. And uh, I have no idea what is the deflection size. So I probably could do the measurements, or I can just guess. I'm just going to guess with two feet for now. Not large enough, because I want to make it a full, um, a full, nice, smooth arch to it. So there is a little bit of a guessing game involved, which is not necessarily a bad thing. But since I'm very visual, I like to see exactly what is um, the arch itself. So I'm going to try doing four feet here and hopefully that's probably the last of it. That's exactly what I was looking for. And uh, last thing is this one here. Now I don't know if you've noticed but on the bottom of the uh, deflection that's here there's actually another button here called deflect in. So sometimes the polylines are just going to blatantly go out the wrong way. So I just clicked on uh, deflection and nothing else. And here is the reason for that check mark area is because it will actually go the wrong way. Don't make soft plan guess. If, it, if, it, if you make it guess, it's going to actually uh, do what it thinks that you want. So clicking on deflect in, of course, will actually bounce in. Uh, I did guess with the three, three feet. Uh, it worked out really well. Uh, second thing we want to do, once you actually have the size of the cabinet done, you click on Edit, click on the center of the cabinetry, sorry, the countertop, 
and of course the biggest thing is the height. It is a real countertop, so you would actually type in 1.5 just like you would for the um, for the actual countertop. And the next thing, I am I do two different things here. Since I do not have a floor system, I use the offset of in in this case I definitely know that my countertops can be two 42 inches uh, up, of course. And what that will do is that when I go back to my 3D, this countertop will now be 42 inches off the floor. That's that's it for now. Um, if you have any requests on how to do anything inside of SoftPlan, please email me at softplantv at ddd.ca. Thank you. Thank you for watching SoftPlan TV.